Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander. It is not a regular Highlander that's been stretched. There is so much more. There are three engine options, completely new changes both inside and out, a different suspension underneath, and different wheel options. We're gonna show you all the way around this vehicle. We're gonna take it for a test drive and show you some of the details that you might not get at the dealer. It's important to note that this vehicle is really about being family friendly, and they thought about a lot of details in the design. Let's get started with what this vehicle is. The Highlander has been around since 2001 but customers have been asking for more space. They want more room in the third row, more legroom, more headroom, and so they've done that. By bringing us the Grand Highlander, it is so much more than a regular Highlander. Let's get started with this vehicle itself. It looks like the rest of the Toyota family. Everything is nice and clean. It is LED headlights because you really need to have a vehicle that's going to be able to support this three engine options, which we'll be talking about in just a minute. I'd like to show you some of the details. You'll see this chrome trim that runs all the way across. This looks like the rest of the Toyota family. And a lot of the safety features are hidden behind this Toyota logo. That's why you see them so big on so many different vehicles. Lower trim level is nice and detailed. Remember, there are three trim levels. There's the XLE, the Platinum, and the Limited. So we're gonna show you all three. We're gonna drive all three powertrains as well. Let's come around to the side. I wanna show you one of five different wheel options. This is a Platinum Edition. So we are riding on 20-inch alloy wheels with all-season tires. On the lower trim levels, they're gonna have 18-inch, but there are five different wheel options, so you can make it personalized to whatever you'd like. You'll also notice this matte black wheel arch because this is gonna be a bigger, more muscular vehicle but it also can go off-roading. Not that you'd be doing that. Most people are just gonna be driving it. And we're here in Hawaii and we're gonna show you some of the roads. So stay with us for the drive as well. So one thing you might be saying, oh, this is just a Highlander with more space and they stretch the frame. That is far from true. You're gonna notice this vehicle is completely different. When you compare them, if you park them next to each other, you will see there is a difference. From the C-pillar forward is different. You would think, oh, from this point forward, it's the same. It is different. The suspension components are also different. We'll talk about that in the drive. They're designed for this vehicle. It has a higher towing capacity and also it's got more people, so it's got more weight. So therefore that will be changed as well. As you work your way back, you'll see those aluminum roof rails, black details on our Platinum Edition. Come around to the back and I'll show you some additional details and we'll talk about the warranty. One thing you're gonna note right away is this darker glass is acoustic glass, especially on the higher trim levels. And so that's really important for keeping it quiet and it's standard when it comes to this hybrid motor. So you have a nice quiet ride and you can actually hear people talking in the third row, which is really important, which doesn't occur in all of their competitors in this category. And that's really important. You'll see this upper rear wing with the integrated third brake light. Wiper blade is here. Grand Highlander is body color. It looks really nice and clean. This is the Hybrid Max motor. There are three motors. We'll talk about that in just a second. And this is the Platinum Edition. Dual chrome exhaust. One of the things that's important to note is there is a three or 36,000 mile warranty and roadside service is included. One other thing to note is this vehicle has the Beyond Zero logo, which is new for Toyota. It's really important to them. They realize that they are trying to make their vehicles even more fuel efficient and better for the environment. And that is a logo you will start seeing now on all of the different vehicles. When it comes to visibility, the Grand Highlander has a huge piece of glass out the front nice level sills so anyone in any of the three rows can see out the windows but what they've done is really nice is the rear view mirror you pull this back and it's a camera and this is great when you've got three rows full of people tons of cargo and you're trying to back up maybe connect a camper or a trailer so they've really done a nice job thinking about visibility in addition there is a backup camera which is an around view which is very helpful remember you're dealing in a category with a lot of competitors who are also looking for your business. So it's important that you sit in these vehicles, see all the technology and the visibility, and they've done a really nice job. Inside the front seats of the Grand Highlander are eight-way power adjustable seats, a heated steering wheel, and ventilated seats with memory settings. Lumbar support, of course, is a plus. In the door is two memory seat settings. Three-stage vented and three-stage heated seats is available in the front row and also an option in the second row. The seats are very comfortable and the ultra suede material and details on the trim are pretty impressive. Let's take a look at the second row of the Grand Highlander and you can see why this vehicle has so much more space. Getting into the second row, these seats slide back and forth, but they also recline. So you can put a child safety seat on each end. Additionally, there is manual 
window shades, which is really helpful, especially if you've got babies in back. Behind the center console, you'll see the heated three-stage and ventilated seats. That is an option, as well as a climate control USB-C connections. There are seven charge ports, and that includes the 120 volt outlet here underneath this cover and pockets behind both seats because kids are always bringing things. Now there is a center console here, but it's removable. And that's really good when you got little ones that just want to crawl to the back. Well, very simple to remove, just a little latch here and it lifts right out. Now that is good for kids. Now let's go into the third row and I'll show you some really nice things that they thought about by getting people into the third row comfortably. Going into the third row can be a challenge on a lot of these three row SUVs. So this is what Toyota did. They came up with a step so you can get into the second row and it's really good for kids. There's a step here that was designed to get into the third row. Really well designed. You put your foot here and there's a grip here. You grab that and you can get really easily into the third row. Now there is more leg room. There is more headroom. And this third row was designed for adults. I'm 5'8". I have a charge port here and I have cup holders. Same thing is true on the other side. There are additional latch system on this side, but you can use the belt to tie in a fourth child safety seat if that's what you need. Back here is not the penalty box. There is tons of leg room. There is plenty of headroom. There is a vent back here and lights. So you're not gonna suffer with not being able to charge or be able to put your items here. There is plenty of storage here. Now this headrest goes up and down. Again, these seats fold 60, 40. And we'll talk about that when we talk about cargo in just a second. Standard on all trim levels is a 12.3 inch center touch screen which also offers an 11 speaker JBL premium audio system that is standard in the limited as well as the platinum editions. You'll notice that the touch screen has really nice navigation. Your audio sources are radio. Of course, you can use some of your Bluetooth connectivity, Amazon Auto. It has wireless Apple CarPlay as well as wireless Android Auto, which is really important. Your phone connection with your Bluetooth. And then when you go into the different features for the vehicle, You've got your climate controls that you can adjust here as well as down below. Your rear climate control for those in the second and third row. And there is your eco for cool and for heating and your de-icer. Additionally, you have trip information and the energy flow. Now, because the test vehicle I'm showing you right now is the top of the line hybrid max, you're seeing the combination of the hybrid as well as the gasoline. And it's showing you just how it's being utilized. Now there's a neat feature that's on this vehicle that is not on the specific vehicle that we have and it is facial recognition. It can set it up based on each driver. So when you get in the vehicle, there is a, a little area just above the steering wheel that tracks your eyes. And when you get in the vehicle, it recognizes it's you. Of course you set that up and it'll take all of your favorite settings. So if you like to listen to country music and maybe your partner or other driver likes listening to rock music, you can be all set up for you. It'll know it's you based on the facial recognition. You can opt out of that or opt into it. That is your personal choice. Further down, you've got three stage heated and three stage climate control seating. All of climate control here is really easy to use as well as ventilation and your emergency. There are seven USB-C ports that are all around the vehicle. And then this button is for the around view camera. Now this is set up right now. You can see that I parked. It's showing you all around the vehicle, which is pretty cool. And that's really good when you're looking for a parking area. And then it shows a down view. Then it shows a bird's eye view. So you can see what's going on for safety. Your power button is here on the left. On the right is another USB charge port. So you've got two right here. Wireless charging down below, more storage for items here. There are 13 cup holders in the vehicle. One of them here is for very large bottles, those metal insulated bottles a lot of people carry, and then there are two further back. One of the features I really like on this limited edition is this bronze color, really nice, very classy. They did a nice job thinking about the details. That bronze trim is all around the vehicle. Further back, you've got your parking brake and your auto hold. There are six different drive modes. You have your snow mode over here, rock and dirt, mud and sand, your eco and your sport and the center is your normal trim with that bronze color again. Traction tr control is over here on the left. This is for hill descent if you're going to be doing some off-roading. One of the nice things they've done is they've made the glove box instead of opening normally this nice sliding panel. I really like how they did this and then inside is additional storage. There's the key and some charge cables for us 
journalists, but there's a very deep center console, which holds up to a 13 inch tablet, which is pretty impressive. Good place to hide your goodies. Your upper center console is for your gigantic panoramic roof. There's a shade as well as movable panels, which makes this a real panoramic roof. In front of you is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster that is standard on the Platinum in a limited edition. There is also optional head up display. Your safety features can be adjusted here on the right side of the steering wheel as well as your cruise control in your different modes. On the left side, this is going to be your volume control and the ability to change things on the gauge pod in front of you. The left side of the steering wheel has your automatic headlights, your heated steering wheel, your AC adapter, and of course your hatch. The steering wheel is tilt telescopic. Safety is critical when you're transporting your family, and this has the Safety Sense 3.0 as standard. So you're going to get the lane departure warning, the blind spot detection, the cross traffic alert, not just backwards, but forward. I was waiting at an intersection, there's traffic coming, and I kind of nudged up a little bit to see, and it gave me a notification. And that's really helpful when you've got kids in the car and distractions that we all have. Since safety is a priority, I'm sure NHTSA and IIHS will have this vehicle as a top safety pick. Plus, it's a Toyota can't expect anything less. Under the hood of the Toyota Grand Highlander is three engine choices. The first is a 2.4 liter turbocharged gas engine with 265 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. Second is the efficiency leading 2.5 liter hybrid with 243 combined horsepower and 36 miles to the gallon combined. Under the hood of the Ultimate Performance Hybrid Max is 362 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque gets a combined 27 miles to the gallon combined. They are all all wheel drive, which is standard and matches that turbocharged engine really nicely. Zero to 60 times 6.3 seconds. Pretty nice towing capacity is 5,000 pounds. So we're inside the Hypermax, which is the top performer. It's not the biggest take. Most are gonna buy the gasoline engine, which we did drive and actually I enjoyed it. It was more than enough power. The hybrid has got even better fuel economy, but this is when you're hauling something. You have a heavy load. You've got three rows of people and gear. You want that extra performance, especially if you're hauling a trailer in addition. So you're talking about 360 plus horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 time is 6.3 seconds. We are here on the big island, but we are in Kona. So they are very strict. As a matter of fact, they use their own personal vehicles as police cars. So you never know when you're gonna get nailed. And that's one of those souvenirs I don't wanna take home with me. But I will tell you, just putting my foot in it, here we are driving at 30 miles an hour. This thing goes, I love it. This is my kind of power. This is the kind of power that allows you to accelerate as needed, to pull a trailer. But this is, for me, the best engine option. Now, it may not work for you. If you're just looking for something to drive your family around, I would say the gasoline is fine. If it's about fuel economy, look at that hybrid motor. In the Hypermax, there is a six-speed automatic transmission. In the gasoline-powered, it's an eight-speed. But if you're buying the hybrid, it's going to be a CVT. So if you're an anti-CVT person, then you wanna look at either the gas or the Hypermax. So it gives you some options. But I will tell you that suspension underneath is the same and the ride is really nice. But then again, the longer vehicle is gonna give you that nicer ride because it's gonna absorb a lot of the undulations that are in the roadway. Remember that some of the roads here are in questionable condition, but they've repaired them all since they had all that lava that really destroyed a lot of the island. But I have to say, you wouldn't even know it. You can see it on the side of the road. We'll show you some of that as well along the way. But honestly, this vehicle handles nicely. It takes up all the differences in the road. A lot of new roads here, so they are nice and smooth. But I'm, I'm liking this. Now, there is something that all the vehicles have, and that is different drive modes. And I think that's also very interesting because you not just have the snow mode, which you would need, but if you have all-wheel drive, that's the ultimate. You want snow and all-wheel drive if you live in snowy conditions. Is you don't need a sport mode with this because this has a lot of power and a lot of torque. And torque is what you need because you buy horsepower, but you drive torque. So when you put your foot in it, what you think is horsepower is really torque. That's why some of these smaller engines and these other brands and other cars feel really powerful. It's just torque that you're driving. Now, as far as towing capacity, you're at 5,000 pounds towing capacity for this vehicle. And 
this that's actually pretty good. I mean, that's your small camper, a, a boat, maybe. If you're going on something bigger, then you're gonna need a bigger truck and Toyota offers it, then you start looking at the Tundra and things like that. So as far as sport modes, there's a button behind the drive modes that has eco, if it's all about fuel economy for you. But if you press that sport mode, everything changes. You can hear the difference. You've got red in front of you and you put your foot in it. Okay, I don't need a ticket, so I'm gonna slow down. But as far as the gauges and everything in front of you, digitally it shows you the different power whether you're on the hybrid portion you're in the power portion or you're getting good fuel economy all that is really important when you're driving a vehicle like this the brakes are excellent the handling and the contact patch with these tires really nice and it actually is a really nice ride so one of the things is this car is very quiet i'm riding with al vasquez you can find, follow him on al vasquez tv he is the number one person for cars in spanish and if you know someone that's interested in that check him out because he's really great at what he does. We've both noticed that it's quiet in here. It's really quiet. And, and I think that's important. You want to talk to that person in the third row, that acoustical glass that we talked about on the walk around, this is where you really can tell the difference. It's really quiet. And to tie in that Hawaiian theme, a Huna is family in Hawaiian. So we are driving a Huna vehicle. <laughs> I guess you would say. So if you're from Hawaii, you can correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But I'm, I'm really happy with what they built on this Grand Highlander. And there's a lot of competition in this category, but I think they've really hit the nail on the head. And you have to take one for a test drive to see. I personally, like I said, like this Hypermax motor. It's not gonna be the biggest take rate. You're most likely gonna see the hybrids with the CVT at your dealership or the gasoline powered with that eight-speed automatic transmission. Behind the third row, there is 21 cubic feet of storage. This is enough for seven suitcases. Fold the third row down and you're now at 60 cubic feet and fold the second row down and you're at 98 cubic feet, which is a lot. Now, if you're going on a vacation, seven pieces of luggage is more than enough. Underneath the cover is a jack and underneath this cover is your spare tire. A spare tire is really a plus these days because a lot of manufacturers are removing it because they want tire inflation products. It's also important to note you get your JBL audio back here an AC 120 volt outlet there, your regular wall outlet. The second row also folds down pretty easily because remember, you're gonna have the seats up or down most of the time, but this third row splits 60-40. You're probably wondering about the price for the 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander. It starts at $43,000. That'll get you your entry level, your XL, front wheel drive, but when you build it up to this beautiful Grand Highlander that has the Platinum and the E-Hybrid loaded with all the goodies, you're at $58,000, which is right in the sweet spot of all the competitors. You've got the Kia Telluride, the Palisade by Hyundai, the Ford Explorer. There's so much much competition in this category. The key is to test drive all these vehicles and decide what meets your family's needs plus the insurance rates because that's going to be a big difference. There'll be no incentives on this vehicle right away. It is built in the USA and it'll be coming on sale summer of 2023. If you have any additional questions and comments because I did not cover every single detail, put it in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer your question. If you'd like to support our channel, you could buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below. We do appreciate your support. Make sure to like and share this because it does help us every time you like and share and subscribe. You can find more information down in the description, website, podcast, and the book. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.